she became afraid of everything. She was fearless before cancer, and now she is scared of everything. Ava was almost three. For nine months, she had an ear infection that medication would not touch, and I kept telling her doctor that I just felt something was off. He kept telling me that just to let it run its course. While I'm on my way to Children's Mercy, I'd like you to call in lab work. She was diagnosed, that was a Friday, she was diagnosed on Monday. So it was me pushing because I just felt like something was off. But she did chemo for two and a half years. She was in the hospital for 13 weeks out of that two and a half year period um, for different side effects. She got made fun of a lot because she didn't have hair. And actually Luca did as well. People didn't understand, you know, why don't you have hair? Why can't you do certain things that we can do? Kids can be mean. I mean, I was bullied for having no hair and stuff like that. I saw a flyer at the hospital. I did not want to leave my daughter with people I did not know uh, for a week. Um, but, you know, other parents have had told me how amazing it was and how their kids have gone and they had no worries and how there was a nurse there. And Because camp is this place where kids don't have to worry about their cancer and they get to do the fun things. Um, and so it was exciting to be able to have a different light and to be able to be one of the people that provides that light. After I picked her up, it was, when's camp? Can we go back? When are we going back? Why do we have to wait a whole year? Um, I love Ava so much. I remember when she first started camp, she was kind of shy and so she didn't talk a lot. And now, I mean, she's this awesome role model. To watch her grow over the past several years that she's been able to come to this camp has been absolutely amazing. Ava loves camp. You can see it in her smile, you can see it in her attitude, you can see it in her excitement. Um, I like fishing and doing zip lines. Before I had Luca, I actually asked Ava's doctor, what's the chance of me having another child with cancer? And he said, it's extremely rare, you should be fine. Luca had knee pain, which the doctors kept saying was just um, growing pains. You know, he's a young boy. So we went back for three weeks of labs and then they did an MRI and that night they called me and said we want to see you in Hemonk the next day. So when it came down to Luca having cancer, I just kept saying, what the hell? Why? Why my kid? Why us? His treatment was a breeze. He was in the hospital a total of five days through the whole two and a half year period. You know, I'd have to take off work a lot to take them to doctor's appointments and whatnot. So financially, it, it was a big blow. So trying to handle a kid with cancer and four foster kids and school, uh, that really took a toll on me. Medical bills are astronomical. And some parents end up having to file bankruptcy. Mine did. He started camp while he was in treatment. He, he was actually my, I was more worried about him being nervous around people, but he was, he was not. He was not. He was like, all right, mom, I want to go back. Let's do this again. So Luca still sometimes is a little bit shy until he gets to know you, I think. Oh, Luca. His first year here was so cute. He was so little and he was just as joyful at her as her. Activities, fun. Fishing, swimming, zip lining. Oh man, when they come to Camp Quality, everybody's the same. Nobody, everybody's been through the same thing. Everybody's been through the hair loss and the ports and the port, you know, they've got port scars. And Nobody here is going to make fun of you because you have a limb missing or a disability. I left camp that very first year, 19 years ago. Enrolled in college, became a nurse. Camp changed my life. But for me, it's about, I think, those those relationships and between campers um, themselves, between campers and our companion volunteers and other volunteer staff, really about making those connections with other people. They were afraid of everything and camp quality allowed them to open up and be themselves and be, being able to do it with other children who have gone through the same thing and who are maybe afraid of the same things, um, doing it together and, and let them be you know, fearless kids instead of being scared of everything.